In this video, we're going to have a quick look at a calendar called Scheduler from a company. Uh, it's called DHTMLX. They have a number of components. Um, I think they're all JavaScript, but this particular Scheduler calendar is a JavaScript calendar. And uh, so uh, what we're looking at now is uh, a list control in Alpha. And uh, I can click on any of the employees in the list and get a, a list of their uh, jobs that they need to do for which customer with a start date and time and an end date and time and an importance indicator. I'll go back and we'll see another one. It's, um, three or four different levels of importance that I've set up here. And now we'll come back here and we'll have a time view of these uh, four employees and the uh, the uh, jobs that they've got for the various dates for this week and each one of the importance indicators is uh, represented by a different color and all of the data coming in here has been selected from a SQL database and then uh, converted to JSON and then JSON feeds this calendar for the uh, for the individuals and for the uh, the data for these uh, individuals for the appointments and the calendar is fully functional just uh, move there and I can move off it and come back to today and move off it and I can click here this will show me which days actually do have uh, uh, appointments in them which is interesting and the calendars uh, can be made to be fully interactive I can turn importance off so they all go one color turn it back on again I can see partial day uh, or I can see uh, this is this is a representation where the uh, the appointment only takes up uh, that amount of time um, in relation to uh, to the day that's uh, displayed. So this uh, this appointment here for 9:30 is going to take more time than any of the other appointments. This one is a little bit more time. I can turn that back on again. And uh, there's a hover capability. So uh, if your mouse hovers over the uh, appointment, then you get to see the event start dates, and the events are clickable as well. So I can double click here, and I'll get more data uh, showing up in a pop-up box. And this is all within the uh, the scheduler itself. You just have to feed it the data that you want to, uh, you want it to display. And uh, right now this is just a read-only calendar, and this section is just read-only, but uh, only because of a flag that I've turned on. So you can um, you can have this read-write, you can send data, and then you could, you'd be able to send data back to uh, SQL just by grabbing the JSON data from the, uh, the calendar and, and uh, shipping it back. And that's it for a quick look of Scheduler uh, integrated with uh, Alpha 5. Thanks for having a look.